In this video, we'll learn how to extract the logic in the component into a service so that the component doesn't have a lot of logic. This is actually a very good practice to follow. Whenever you're working on an Angular application and you see your component code running for lines and lines together, that's actually a sign for you to think and say, hey, can this code be moved to a service? Why do we want to do this? A component is concerned with rendering the view and interacting with the user, right? It provides the UI functionality of the application. Now there is business logic that it needs in order to do its job. That business logic could be making REST API calls, maybe some kind of a domain logic that's specific to your application. Those logic elements doesn't really have to be in the component because what we're doing then is when you have all that logic inside the component, you're mixing the presentation and the kind of the controller logic required for the component to kind of render the UI with the business logic, which is kind of more fundamental to your application. So typically, when you're working on an Angular application, look at your components. If it's going for a long, uh, you know, if it's running long, then that's a sign to look at the logic and see if they can be extracted out. I'm going to do a simple move here. We're not really making REST API calls, but here is where we are initializing this blog post and it's this whole mess of uh, static hard-coded values that's sitting in my component. Now I want to take that out and create a service out of it. So I'm going to do that here by generating ng generate service blog data. I'm calling it blog data. So this blog data service is going to be providing me with this information. Now I have the blog data service here. I'm going to provide this in my module. Just like we have the truncate pipe here, I'm going to add this provider so that it's available to me. And in my blog data service, I'm going to create a function called get data. And this is going to return that hard-coded list. So I'm gonna to go to my blog list component, TypeScript file, and I'm gonna take this out here. And then move this to my service. Here I'm just going to return this hard-coded list. Okay, now in my blog list component, I can inject the blog data service because I have specified a provider in my constructor. I can say private blog data service is going to be of this type, blog data service, and Angular is going to inject that for me. And in my ng on init, I say this dot blog post equals this dot blog data service. I get the instance and then I call the get data method. And since that get data is returning me that value, it will assign it to my blog post. Now it says wide is not assignable. Well, this is not wide. This is going to return. That was the problem with the new line there. Um, I'm also going to make this explicit blog post array of arrays. And now I can assign. Uh, just so you didn't catch that, uh, I had the array in the next line, so that's the quirk of JavaScript. It would just return without doing anything to the array. If, if it does, if it just sees one line with the return, it just assumes it's to be a standalone line, even though you didn't add the comma, the semicolon, and so it assumes get data is basically does nothing. So I had to do a couple of things. Move the square bracket over here so that JavaScript knows that it's not the end of the line. And I also made things a little bit more clearer by providing an explicit return type to this method so that if somebody were to do this, you would get an error. And um, it's very clear that we want this to return an array of arrays. 
All right, so now if I refresh, of course I need to do an ng serve here. Then I refresh, things work exactly the same way. Now the reason I did this is to illustrate the concept of smart components versus dumb components. This is a very important concept that you will encounter when you're working on these large Angular applications. Uh, we will cover what the difference is and when you need to make your components smart versus dumb in the next video.